Welcome Festival Hall in the wildest war we've seen in 1973. Mark Lewin drop kicking Bulldog Brower. Mark Lewin and Killer Carl Cox against Abdullah the Butcher and Dick the Bulldog Brower. What a bruising, brawling match. And Cox and Lewin have given even more than they've received. Look at the beautiful drop kick to the chin of Abdullah the Butcher. There's another one, but he misses only partially. It hurt both of them, and in comes Brower. Brower is coming in, he's over there. Cox is in the ring, watch it. He's kicking him away. He comes down with a hammer blow. Watch Cox, he might get it. He's got him up. It's a brain buster on Dick the Bulldog Brower. In the meantime, Abdullah the Butcher came down with a butcher's axe. There's another butcher's axe on Lewin. All four men in the ring. Cox kept his promise. He gave the Brain Buster to Bulldog Brower. And Waldo Von Erich has come in. There's a butcher's axe to Mark Lewin. Eddie Swan is trying to get Cox and Waldo Von Erich. Look at the atomic drop. Spiro Serian put on him, and he puts him over. Abdullah the Butcher. Eddie Swan sees him down, gives him the count of three. And the crowd's going wild. The winners of the match, Mark Lewin and King Curtis. But Dick the Bulldog Brower, I have never seen anybody get up after the Brain Buster. Usually they're out for some time and have to be carried out of the ring. He is literally gone berserk. In comes King Curtis. He comes over with a double chop. It doesn't even phase Brower. No wonder he's called a human tank. He gets another chop, another chop, another chop. And he body slams King Curtis and comes right back on top of Killer Carl Cox with a figure four strangle at the throat. In comes young Johnny Gray. Whoa! Johnny Gray, what nerve and courage to even come in there. And Brower throws him over the top stand of the rope. Goes right back in that figure four strangle on Cox. Lewin and Curtis on the mat. In comes Milano. He picks up Milano. Body sa- goes right back into the figure four tra- He has gone berserk. Some way or other, after that brain buster, he has gained the strength of ten men. In comes Angelo Mosca. Mark Lewin working on Brower. He's pulling the leg out. And Angela Mosca pulling on the chin. Milano holding on one leg. They're getting him away from Killer Carl Cox. But look at Brower. Goes back to Cox. Mosca, Curtis, Lewin trying to get him off of Killer Carl Cox. He has absolutely gone wild, gone berserk. And everybody trying to pull him off of Killer Carl Cox. I have no love for Dick the Bulldog Brower, but the human tank has literally steamrollered everybody that has come in. It has taken five men to get him off of uh, Cox. He knocks Johnny Gray down, knocks Curtis down, Mosca goes down, Lewin's in the corner. Outside the ring, Milano is there, but believe me, everybody is trying to get them off and the match is over. Look at him, throw him back in the ring. He wants to get back in there and give Cox a go. He lets Mosca have it. He comes in there, but they're keeping him away from Killer Carl Cox. And believe me, wrestling fans, I've ever seen a human tank go absolutely berserk like Dick the Bulldog Brower. It is absolutely beyond conception the strength of this man. He's going through the crowd now, trying to get back into the ring and have another go. It Cox, Mark Lewin is protecting him and Johnny Gray and Angelo Mosca, but it's just like that slow-moving tank coming over and Cox gets out of the way and it looks like the human tank has finally run out of gas. Here's the man that absolutely had the strength of 10 men in that ring and went berserk, Dick the Bulldog Brower. 
You bum, you! You suckered me in that ring when I wasn't watching you, cocks! And you picked me up! And you hurt my neck, cocks! You hurt my neck! I'm gonna beat you! I'm gonna crush you! You can't hurt me, cocks! You can't hurt me, cocks! You can't hurt me, cocks! You can't hurt me! When I get you in that ring! When I get you in that ring next time! They're gonna carry you away on a stretcher, cocks! Because you ain't man enough to pick me up face to face when nobody's in the ring but you and me. You'll be in the ring with me at Festival Hall, Cox. And when you do, you better pack your bags and you better leave Australia because I'm going to cripple you. You heard my neck and I'm going to tear you apart. <laughs>